Frost Breaking. We're going to bust open the Hordes Dire Troll Blitzer Bomber Mauler Multi Model Kit from Project Your Press. I have never seen one of their multi model kits. Inside we have the uh, cards. zoom in on for you. We have, that's right, I forgot which does the, uh, the damage wheel, as I, I call it. Uh, the Dire Troll, the bomber has speed 5, strength 12, melee attack 5, range attack 5, defense 12, armor 18, and a command range of 5. He has a powder bomb, which has an 8 inch range, it has a rate of fire of 2, AOE of 4, power 16, 2 claws, power 3, well, power plus strength is 15 on both of them. On the back we have his abilities, he has a bomb shelter, target friendly model gains girded, bomb shelter lasts for one round, a model with girded does not suffer blast damage Friendly models base to base with it do not suffer blast damage. So it's a shield. He has regeneration D3 and snapping. When this model boxes a living model with melee attack, this model can heal D3 damage points. That's pretty cool. Then we have the Mauler. He has a meaty fist and a meaty, well, big meaty fist, power strength 16, speed 5, 12, 6 for melee attack, range attack 3, defense is 12, armor is 18. And he has uh, his animus is rage, he has regeneration, he has snacking, and he has chain attack, grab and smash. If this model hits the same model with both its initial attacks, with its weapon after resolving the attacks, it can immediately make a double hand throw, head butt, or headlock, weapon lock, push, or throw power attack against the target. That's pretty cool. And then we have the Blitzer, which I think is probably the coolest of the three versions of the model. The Blitzer has basically the same stats. He has melee attack 5 and range attack 5. That's the basic difference. He has a Slugger which has a range of 10, rate of fire 1, power 13. His two claws are strength 15. His animus is repulsion. Any models currently within 2 inches of this model are immediately pushed 3 inches away. He has regeneration, snacking, virtuoso. This model can make a melee and range attack during the same combat action. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I've never, I don't get to play too much. So, some of this stuff is uh, pretty new to me, and I, I just kind of see some ideas in there, which means I'm probably wrong because I don't play it. Um, and he has rapid fire. He decided to make initial attacks with his weapon at the beginning of this model's combat action. Roll a d3. The total roll number is the initial attacks of the model. That's pretty sweet. Come in this plastic baggie. We're gonna zoom out a little bit. Slice it open. This is gonna be an interesting kit, I think. Base. Alright, let's just dump it all. Pull these off here. Base. That's gotta be the meaty, the meaty hands or fists. That's the Mauler hands. That's the Blitzer hand. That's one of the arms. That's the base of the body. That's a, one of two mains. This has to be the uh, hands for the bomber. This is the bomber head, 
the other arm. Little guy that sits on top of the bomber, I believe. He lights the, the torches. We'll zoom in here. I can't well, we'll see. This. The legs. The mauler head. And we're going to zoom in on some of these pieces here. And the Blitzer chain gun. So I'm going to set all these aside and we're going to go over these in a little bit more detail because some of them are really good. The basic torso, a little bit of cleanup, not much there. Gonna be a nice fit. Actually, you probably don't have to clean it up at all. Uh, looking at this model. It's gonna go together real easy. Then you have arm pieces with the uh, troll, we'll call it alligator shell for now, the mauler hands, you have the, the blitzer back, and the bomber back, and the mauler back. Now, the blitzer hands, the bomber hands, which have a place for a wick, little bomber dude, the lighter. There. Little, what's it It's a hot iron. And it should be standing on a lit wick. Oh, he's, he goes on a model like this. Then you have the bomber head. That's the bomber head. That's the mauler head. I do not have three heads. Well, oh, that's a mauler. I'll have to repeat. That's a private compressor. Quest. Quest the right hand. Anyway, those heads really, it doesn't really matter that much. These heads are all basically the same troll. It's just a matter of which one you want to use. And last but not least, you have chain gun. There you go. This is the Blitzer Bomber Mauler Kit from Privateer Press. There you go. This is the Blitzer Bomber Mauler Kit from Privateer Press. Four ports. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean up these, these pieces. We'll come back and do a figure forge on this model in a, with an attempt to swap it out. are all resin, it shouldn't be that tough. Thank you, this is Matt Lucky with Your Gamer Goggles and a box breaking of the Blitzer Bomber Mauler.